very sure of himself, you know. He's really, really sure of his tactics, and, and when he loses, he doesn't... I mean, he says to me that he goes and, you know, over the replays and everything, but I get the impression he, he just follows this, this straightforward build he has in his head, and if it doesn't work, it's like, oh, well, GG. Play another game. Uh, who's this? Is this Keepy or Veili? I lost you guys there for a sec. Veili, Veili. Uh, this is Veili, yeah. Veili, so, so he's not very good at adapting, you say? Uh, well, I mean, he's got some pretty pretty strong builds. I mean, he's... he's he, Took uh, some Fe some Phoenix play off. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I mean, I know he, there's there's been some in the uh, the big uh, Duck, tournament matches rock. and everything. But, but yeah, Duck Loader, uh, White Row and everything. But I mean, he's he's taken a few points of that. And I mean, he's he's really adapted them well. Yeah, that's. I've noticed that he, he couldn't quite get me with the Phoenixes. I always annihilated him when he tried that stuff because of my like little cannon play. I bring some cannons to where I start accumulating units outside his base. He gets a little nervous. I love that. <laughs> Your cannon play is good, though. I mean, I'm a Zerg player, and god damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I should just point out to you guys that uh, for some reason, when I hit record, it didn't start recording, so we missed about the first uh, minute and a half there of talk. So <laughs> I'll just do like a really weird thing and introduce us all again. Okay? All right. Um, <laughs> I'm Jeeves, otherwise known as Drummer Newbie. I'm the uh, Copper from Copper and Diamond. Over there is uh, John Becker. He's the Diamond from Copper and Diamond, and with us is Jinx, the the head of the Strategist Union guy. Uh, the guy with the really uh, thick English accent. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> um, but anyway, here we are uh, four minutes into the game. What was that? I said there's nothing bad about being English. No, not really, but that's for another <laughs> cast, maybe a sort of debate cast or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, say here that Keepy and Veli have just opened up with uh, typical builds here, except uh, actually Veli got himself an early second gate, and now he's getting down to robotics, exactly what Jinx was saying in the time that wasn't recorded. Copper. Uh, it's not my fault, man. The damn thing doesn't work enough. good. Yeah. He goes for this build often enough. And, as Jinx said, in fact, why don't you just go ahead and repeat what you said? I was just saying that, I mean, Bailey's really well known for, I mean, he's, he's got set build orders, set, set, set strategies that he uses, and, but he uses them to, like, you know, full potential. He really makes them work. Um, nothing ever, ever quirky with him. It's like, you know, two gate robo into third gate, or maybe two gate robo into fast expansion, that sort of thing. Phoenix play, but he, he pulls them off well. It's always that way. He always pulls them off really, really well. Uh, well, yeah, we've seen that before, haven't we? Um, is it is it me who's lagging? Just curious, or is no, it someone it's else? Terrible. Oh, okay. Um, ooh, giving out character codes there, maybe not a great idea for live cast, but whatever. Um, I don't think there are going to be too many viewers. No, I don't. I don't think we're in trouble with that. I want to see how uh, Keepy's three gate robo um, works out against uh, Veili's two gate robo and robo bay. He's going straight for the robotics uh, robotics base, so he's going to do exactly what I think he's doing. I mean, he likes going for the early Colossus and stuff, because, I mean, the earlier you get them against Protoss, in my opinion, the better. Yeah, they, especially gateway units. I mean, they just tear through those gateway units. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, we can see here that's the ideal counter right now against the key piece army composition here. And well, it is, but there's going to be a bit of a delay on that, isn't there? Because right now, Keepy does have more production building, so he could he could actually take this window and possibly uh, do a bit of damage. And he just sniped his Zealot as well. Bad micro there. Yeah, he didn't put the whole position on his units on the high ground there. Usually you'd want to do that so they don't actually lure them out and whatever. But we see the first Colossus being produced out of the robotics facility in Veili's base, and the robotics bay is not even down in Keepy's base, so uh, I'd say Veili's a little bit ahead The robotics here. bay is actually almost finished. You've got to be a little more observant there, Diamond. I'm saying it's not down yet, as in it's not complete. No, no, no. And, uh, down is one thing, complete is different. Let's let's be realistic. All right. I'm surprised, though, from Keepy, he didn't put put a forward pylon down so he could warp in units more quickly. He's just warping him in the base and then running him through. Yeah, that That's is a bit kind of odd. Suspicious. Maybe he's just trying to keep it contained in there, and as soon as he sees that there's a Colossus out, he'll just he'll just say, "Oh Jesus, I gotta get out of here and wait until I get my Colossus." That could be what's going on now because he does have more production facilities, and if he's just gonna stick with one base play, it's possible that he could accumulate more of an army than there. He's got more harvest account as well. He's got a bigger harvest account. He's still working on that, whereas uh, 
Bailey's starting to lag behind a bit on that as well, and that will start to show as it as it gets into you know the proper micro stage of this uh, one base versus one base. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is true. Um, you know, I think you know, I think I think what's happening with Bailey is that he must be thinking, God, I always lose against this guy. I'm going to lose again. You know, and uh, that that mentality does work against people. Yeah, it yeah. usually it works with me and. Uh, Who's the, who's the other fella in... Actually, there's nobody who actually dominates me besides Keepy in, in Strategist. You know. <laughs> have you um have you played Cybugger? Because he's a, he's a good Terran player. Really, really good. Terran? I thought it was Protoss. Uh, I think he plays Protoss as like a off-spec sort of thing. Oh, okay. Jeez, huh? I, sh I should give him a try sometime. Well... Yeah, so he's he's just about got his Thermal Lances uh, upgraded, so... Takes out an Observer. This this is looking to be a pretty even match, but now that Veili has expanded, um, if Keepy goes ahead and you know just builds up and pushes through, um, he might have it uh, because he's decided not to expand, even though he's way oversaturated on the minerals there by yeah. four, I think. So he's up to twenty eight on the minerals. That's right. I mean, including the gas, you want thirty probes in in your main or something around thirty probes. That that is the optimum. Uh, harvesting, I think. Yep, yeah, that's right. Three per uh, mineral patch and gas. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But well, in the Colossi count, they're 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 the same. Let's take a look at the, the units tab. Here. Well, it looks like uh, uh, Keepy actually decided to expand himself. So I don't uh, I don't think either of them's going to move out too much right now. Uh, Veli actually has a much larger number of zealots, which I don't know if that's going to be terrific because they kind of get wiped out by Colossi. Yeah, but it's perfect for soaking up the damage, that's the thing, that's why he's got getting them. You know, the Colossi can take out his uh, Keepy's men, while the Zealots just soak up the Colossi damage. Yeah, I suppose that's true. From, uh, from Keepy's Colossi. That's I, true. I suppose that's true. Yeah, that's that's why I'm caught. <laughs> <laughs> but, I tell, you, I, tell you right I, <laughs> I tell you what I'd like to see, though, Zealot legs, because if you get zealot legs, they can actually get in there and do a little bit of Colossus damage. Um, without the yeah, legs, though, they're, they're not going anywhere. Um, but for now, we're just going to sit around, kind of let them expand, wait a little bit, maybe talk about, uh, I don't know, politics? Weather? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's been <laughs> raining a lot. Uh, typical whales for that, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Veili drops the Twilight Council. Thank you. Ideal uh, transition into the middle game, which is... Uh, Seems like it's turning out to be now, and he just got Keepy just got his uh, Nexus up, so now he's just transferred some of his probes from his main over there, and he's got five probes. He's five probes ahead of Bailey, but I think that now that Bailey's actually producing probes from both next eye, next eye, is that probably yeah, something like that? I, th I think that works, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like nucleus and nuclei. I mean, the, nuclei, the, yeah. the, the plural <laughs> for octopus is octopuses. That's actually the plural, and I don't like the way it sounds, but that's the way it is. So maybe it's nexuses or nexus. I don't know. It's very strange. What's the plural for moose? Looking at Sorry? What's the plural for moose? Moose? Mooses. <laughs> yeah, because you can't say meese. <laughs> what about goose? That's geese. That's geese, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's uh, Why? This, this is so strange. <laughs> Looking at the Colossi count, I mean, he's actually... Uh, Keepy's pulling away the Colossi count quite dramatically at the moment. Yep. Well, just one ahead. <laughs> well, one is dramatic <laughs> enough. Actually, he's yeah, to have a The second one's nearly out as well. The next one's nearly out as well, by, like, half a production time as well. But saying that, there's a lot less uh, Zealots out for... Yeah, yeah but he's got a lot more stalkers. 